Crocus was stayed awake all night. CVT guitar lesson for Tim. Tim, really good song, man. I think it's gonna be right, even though I haven't heard you, still. I have a feeling this is gonna be right up your alley, man. Not too crazy, really catchy, like, lead melody in here. And uh, yeah, this is off the Headhunter album, one of my first albums, and I just thought the whole album was great. Um, tuning is standard for this. Um, you don't need to crank the gain too much, it's distorted, but it's not Metallica distorted, you know? Um, so, let's jump in. It's section one, zero seconds in. We're starting with an E major, so it's open E, two A. What you want to do is hit the power chord, so the, both strings, and then um, palm mute it seven times after. So you're going to hit it eight times. Just don't palm mute the first one. From there, transition to an A. Just drop it down to open A, second fret, D and G. It's a little fuller. Sometimes I can hear you in the third note in there, but you can throw it in if you want. Hit those, followed by two open A strings, palm muted. So we have. And then this chord, really cool. Um, I'm not sure if you know this chord, but it's a D with an F sharp bass, or D slash F sharp. I think the best way to play it, Jimmy Page would do it like this. Um, there's different ways to do it, but I would bar it. I'd go for comfort, bar the last four strings, and then we're going to need 4D and 3B. And if you can get it clear, then play it that way. And you're just going to strum it, and then that whole section will go four times. So one time, a little slowed down would be this. And then solo one comes in 11 seconds in while that rhythm keeps playing. Then we're gonna go second fret G, hammer onto the fourth fret, and then 3B. I'd bring the index over at that point, and then 4G middle finger. Three on the B string, do a hammer onto five, pick it three times. So, oops. 3B, 4G and then two open, so it's 2D, and then we're going to go back to the G string, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0 on the D, 2A, that's kind of the midpoint of this. Um, then open D string, pick, hammer onto the second fret, pick it three times, and then open. And then we're going to palm mute. Two open on the A, three open, three on the E. So, open two A, and then, uh, actually that's like, that's more like the middle of it at that point. Um, kind of started over here but check it out when you do the hammer on on the 3b you're gonna hammer vibrato and do and pick again vibrato so it's and then you finish off just like before so palm you when you get to the 2d and you follow it through so there and then when you jump back to the open on the g you don't have to palm mute and then we're going to swap to the middle, which you could use there the first time. Slide to four. And then three B twice. And then nine G B. And then just whammy swoop up. Right up to pitch. And I'm not sure, man, whether here or I just like the tonality a little better there. Um, it's going to refer back to that with some uh, little few altered parts, which is notated in your tabs. But the next new thing you'll see is, because um, it's going to go back to the, the main hook, section one, the three times. And 
and then section two will come in and it's going to be this. It starts the same way. Stayed awake all night, that whole part. So the E5 chord is the same. Then we do a full D major. 2E, 3B, 2G, open D. And an A major, and I like to bar this. Most rock players seem to do it this way. Second fret D, G, and B with the open A. So we have. And that goes nine times, believe it or not. All right, so nine times of that. Then at 57 seconds, I notated it. Uh, I put solo one, no star. I mean, you'll repeat just about all of it, Tim. You're going to go... And then, oops, right here. This is the only change, and I just finished it out. It does a quick hammer trill, three to five on the B string, and then finish it off um, five three B, four two open G, just like you would normally do. And then we'll do this. And then whammy up on the end of that. It refers back to that. Um, it's going to do it again here on page three somewhere. But, um, oh, a minute 44 in. This is the jungle drums that you were saying sounded like uh, Van Halen. And it sure does. Everybody wants some. But uh, 144, it's just a standard E major chord. Open E, second fret A and D, 1G. Just strum those four. And that sets up the whole toms, you know, on the drum. Volume swells come in in two minutes, two seconds. And what is cool about this, dude, is so the volume is off. I know you know how to do these, but um, you're going to want to go open A, 5G, and 6B. So just, if you want, just use your fingers, you know, your thumb, index, middle, pluck them. You can hear that open A through uh, all these. Do it again, open A, and then open G as well, and then third fret on the B and E, so it's a G chord. So I'm going to use thumb, index, middle, third. I mean, you can incorporate the pick if you want, but... See, it's got the, those in it. Uh, open A, 9G, 10B. And it does that two times, so I've got that notated, double dots. 2 minutes 36 seconds, um, open A, 14D, 12G, and 13B. This you could, you know, strum it if you want, but it's still a volume swell. And then open A, 9G, 10th fret, B and E. You could bar that, however you want to do that. If that A is bugging you, just eliminate it. Because you definitely don't want it louder than your fretted notes. And because it's an open string, it's going to want to ring louder. So. It almost sounds better, at least on these couple chords, without that open A. But it's still cool either way. And then that's it. Two minutes, 54 seconds. It goes back to uh, solo number one, no star again, plus palm muting. It's like a breakdown. You know the part I'm talking about. It's still doing the jungle drums. And in place of that star, you finish it with... So you'll palm mute all this on the B string, three, five, 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 three. Four, two, open G, two D, zero, two, zero, G, two D. So you have, and then open two, four, G, and then palm mute three, three on the B, and the 4G, then no more palm mute. You'll go 3B, hammer 5, and then again with a hammer, vibrato. So, alright. And you'll hear, you know, when he's not palm muting, it's just, you know, you can hear that difference. Just, at, just remember, it's at the end there. Bunch of repeats, um, and then there's a secondary solo at the end of the song. And I wanted to get you that as well. Because the other thing is more of a melody line. It's, I don't know if I'd call that a solo or not, but it's definitely catchy. 
unison bend 14G, 12B, and bar the 12th fret on the B and E, it's this old, you know, Chuck Berry thing, Ace Freely. Bend the, the 14th fret on the G a whole step, and then 12th fret B and E twice. Do all of that eight times. And then four minutes, seven seconds in, we're gonna go, and I follow the fingering here on the start of your tabs, on the B string, 10, 9, um, 10, 9, 10, 12, 10, 9. So it's, and then 10, pull 9, 9, G twice vibrato. So it sounds like this slow down. Then uh, 7G middle finger, or I would use middle. Rest, 6 with the index, go 6, 7, and then 6, hammer 7, pull 6, slide 4. A lot of technique there. So, you have rest, 6, 4, 2, 2, 1. 2, pull 1, and then 2, open, open on the D. And then whammy vibrato. Uh, unison bends 15B and 12 high E. We're going to back that with the, the middle finger. And he's kind of mimicking the stay awake all night. Like with that, you'll go. So you'll bend, strum again, and then bend. Stayed, so it's stayed awake all night. Uh, so you hit with the vocals, or the, take the vocal melody, the words and all that basically. 4 minutes 17 seconds in, more unison bends, 15B, 17G, we're going to bend the, the G, 17, and uh, vibrato. So we have, move it back a half step to 16, 14, no vibrato, 16G, and then 16 high E, 19B, that's a unison bend vibrato when we're bending the B string. Move it up a half step to 2017. Back to 1916. So you don't have vibrato the 2017, just the 1619. E power chord at the end. Open E 2A. It rings out. A little bit of feedback tries to kick in and he just takes the whammy and just real slight vibrato with it, okay? So, I don't think you can have much trouble, dude, with this. Uh, have fun. And uh, have fun at that concert this weekend, dude. How cool is that? Um, I'm just surprised you still haven't had any Blue Easter Colt. Maybe you know how to play all the Blue Easter Colt stuff. I don't know. You can't. The catalog's too big. All right, Tim. Talk to you soon, buddy.